14th, St. Callistus I, Pope and Martyr. Early in the 3rd century, Callistus, then a deacon, was entrusted by Pope Zephyrinius with the rule of the clergy and set by him over the cemeteries of the Christians at Rome. At the death of Zephyrinius, Callistus succeeded him to the apostolic see. It was he who made obligatory for the entire church the fast of the ember days which the apostles had instituted to bring down blessings on each season of the year. During his time, the Christians began to build churches, which, though destroyed during the various persecutions, were eventually rebuilt. Among the catacombs owed to his government is the one on the Appian Way which bears his name. Many precious memories are conserved there. In it are found the tomb of St. Cecilia, the crypts of several popes, and paintings which attest the perfect conformity of the primitive faith with that of the present-day church. During the pontificate of St. Several very striking conversions occurred among very officers of the persecuting emperor Alexander Cerverus. At one time, an officer, his family and household, 42 persons in all, were baptized by the Pope on the same day. Many others asked him for baptism, among them a senator and 68 persons of his household, and a guardian of the saintly pope, whose name was Privatus, after the prayers of the Holy Father had cured him of an ulcer. All these new Christians were martyred, and their heads were exposed at the various gates of Rome to discourage any who would propagate the faith of Christ in that city. St. Callistus found the means to have a diligent search made by fishermen for the body of a priest of his clergy, which had been cast into the Tiber after his martyrdom. When it was found, he was filled with joy and buried it with hymns of praise. During the persecution, St. Callistus was obliged to take shelter in the poor and populous quarters of the city. The martyred priest appeared to him soon afterwards, saying, Father, take courage. The hour of the reward is approaching. Your crown will be proportionate to your sufferings. Soon afterwards, he was discovered there, and the house was guarded by soldiers who received the order to allow no food to enter it for several days. St. Callistus was martyred in his turn with a rock suspended from his neck. He was thrown from a window into a well on October 14th in the year 223. The priest Asterius recovered and buried his body. A week later, Asterius too was arrested and thrown into the Tiber. The Christians interred this martyr also. In the mortal remains of a Christian, we see what has been the temple of the Holy Ghost, and which still is precious in the sight of God, who will watch over it, and one day raise it up in glory to shine forever in his kingdom. May our actions bear witness to our belief in these truths.